in the last episode you saw me get the hub off the uh, stub shaft um, this episode is really all about getting the uh, this shaft out of the actual hub body um, Chapman strut um, I'm making this intro after the event it's been quite a um, tedious process doing this you'll see that I had quite a lot of trouble with uh, pullers and what have you anyway um, it may be a bit boring um, but try and stick with it if you can um, and hopefully I've included this because I thought it's just for completeness sake and it would um, show you know it's not an easy job getting some of this stuff apart and I thought it might be useful for people to see how it actually what it actually takes to do some of these jobs Anyway, hopefully you enjoy it, and if you do, don't forget, of course, to subscribe and like, and perhaps even buy me a coffee. Now to dismantle the, uh, the rest of the axle. Um, looks like we need to take out this circlip here, and then probably a circlip on the other side. And then I guess I can tap the whole thing through that way. So let's give that a go. Oh, bit of a struggle. Well, I've right, soaked that in some uh, blast it, but I think what's happening, I've realised that probably when I was hammering this to uh, get the hubs off, this has probably pulled that back up that way. So I'm going to give that a tap and see if, and then see if that will stop the thing being clipped into the, uh, well, release the o-ring, the circuit. Yes, it has. Still not easy to get out though. There we go, it's out. Fantastic. Now I've got to remember when I put this back in to put this circlip round the shaft before I push it in because that's not going to go around there very easily. I guess it will, but it's something to remember for the future. All right, let's see if this will move. I've got that which I made for taking the hubs off and see if that will. It's starting to move. Well, I now need to get this bearing out from this end. Um, and then what I'm going to do is get a bit of, probably a bit of half inch rod. And you can see those cutouts in the side of the bearing housing at the bottom there. Put it in there and see if I can tap it out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's moved. That's moved up the surface there. So that's coming out. Of the so I did warm this up in just put it in front of an electric fire for a while just to heat the casing up a bit. So I think that's obviously helped. That's it, that's the bearing out. Sounds crunchy. You can hear that. So I think that's probably shot as well. Right, to get the bearing off this end, I think I need to I'll take this circlip out and then drive it down that way. Um, try not to bend up this, this, well, this shim, I think it's just a dirt cover. Um, so let's do that. My oh, circle is always so bloody awkward. that off. Well I now need to get this bearing off. Um, I've tried sort of tapping here and, and um, knocking it off but it doesn't, it won't move. So I think I need to need some sort of puller and um, what I'm planning to do is to adapt this three leg puller um, by uh, drilling some holes in here and extending this down. I hope I can get that onto the, onto the end here and then um, pull the bearing off. Uh, this puller, you, know, you can see it's sort of all the threads stripped out. I buckled this up uh, trying to get the hub off. Um, anyway, so the plan is I'm going to get take this out and then I'll probably weld this uh, M16 nut onto there and um, hopefully that will work. the modified uh, puller um, you see I've drilled out the ends and bolted it up and it seems to fit quite well I managed to reuse the uh, existing bolt thing I had to machine the end a bit but um, it's sitting on there quite well so now we'll see if it'll pull the bearing off Well, there's uh, the puller mark two. Um, what I've done is welded that nut onto the top there. I've also made up this um, this piece here just to protect the threads on the end of the shaft. So, next thing is to do that and give it a go and see if it'll um, pull it off. I'm not hope got much hope really because I think it's gonna these are gonna slip out of here. I might have to put something around uh, around there. Also, it's a very cold day today, so um, I really ought to heat it up perhaps a bit before I start.
No, it's not working. It's under a lot of tension now. Uh, well, this is the next uh, puller. I've made a new one because the other one failed, as you've seen. Um, so the idea is that um, I've got two bits of angle like that, which I've cut a hole in, and they would go around here. And then these straps go like that, and then this goes on top. You do up and up, and it all comes apart. Well, that's the plan anyway. I don't know if you can see that, but it's um, it's moved, isn't it? In the uh, probably need to put a spacer in there, but it's actually, it's, it is coming off. You can see there, it's pulling off. So it's worked. So I think uh, a mod would be to put in a proper spacer there, and the rest of it seems to work pretty well. Anyway, success. Just to get the bearing off now. So again, it's a bit like the hubs, it's just, it's just marked up, they just micro-world it together, but um, it's come off. Just got to get past there now. Hopefully that will just tap off. I'll try tapping it, but it's just, you know, it's not going to work. It's going to be too difficult, so I'm going to try with this, with the old, wanky old, uh, Hold on, see if I can get it off with this. Well, this doesn't work, so yeah, the these are too too long and even with the uh, extension piece on here it's going to be pretty difficult to get any real movement on it there's only going to be about i don't know 20 mil so i think what i'm going to do is, is modify this so that it goes around there again and then i'll just drill some more holes in here shorten this down and then pull it off with that I've right, drilled some intermediate holes now, so let's give this a try.
Oh, it keeps slipping off. I'm not try this, um, it's a bit bright, broader this one. Right, I've got the broader one in now. Let's um, see if that works. Yeah, I think that's working. Moving. Oh no, it's just going round. I don't know, it's coming up. Yeah, slowly but surely it's coming off. Well, it helps actually turn it, it just screws it through the bear. Well, we'll get the new ones on, this is going to be an interesting exercise. I'll probably have to pull them on somehow like this. That's it. It's loose. There we go. It's out. And there's the bearing. Well, that's the uh, stub axle dissembled, and the bearings are both off now. Um, and there's all the bits. So what I really need to do now is clean it all up, um, paint bits of it, and then I can reassemble it. One thing I do need to do is I've got to cut. I've got to cut that uh, this thing off here and this protrusion uh, because with the CV drive shafts that uh, that will get in the way. Um, that is for um, that's to stop the uh, drive shaft demolishing the back of the car if the uh, rubber donuts blow up. Um, so um, that's, if you ever look at the end of a traditional drive shaft or you know, the real drive shaft. These donuts crack up, and disintegrate, and the idea is because that that peg is inside the inside that star, um, the, the shaft there. It catches the shaft and stops it flailing around and doing damage to the car. Um, I was in a race at Silverstone once where um, a car in front of me, as he came out of club, and he put the power down. It. Um, one of his donuts let go and it completely wrecked the back of his car and most of his suspension. So uh, they are a useful thing to have, but they're going to have to go. Well, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like, and of course, leave some comments. Um, next, uh, next video will probably be me reassembling all this lot uh, once I've painted it all and put it all, uh, got it all ready to reassemble. Anyway, till next time, see you then. Thank <laughs> you.